Here we need to find the values of x and y, which are the hypotenuse of right angle triangles. So for this we need to use Pythagoras, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a and b being the um, sides either side of the right angle, c being the hypotenuse, a, b, c. Now this is without a calculator, because I expect you to know all of your square numbers 1 to 13, 15 and 20 as a minimum. You can see down here that I've made you a um, video, um, I've also made you um, flashcards to help you with this, um, to help you learn this. So let's have a go at doing the first one. We have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, that equals x squared, 9 plus 16 equals 25, square root of 25 and x um, squared gives us x equals 5. So we have 3, 4 and 5. Moving on to the second one, for this one we have um, values of, for this one we have 5 squared plus 12 squared equals y squared, so 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, that equals y squared, 25 plus 144 is 169, square root of 169, the square root of y gives us y equaling 13. Um, that may seem a bit hard for some of you, but if you learn your square numbers, um, it's going to make it much, much easier. Um, there is also a set of things called Pythagorean triplet, triplicates, which means 3, 4, and 5 make a right angle triangle, and 5, 12, and 13 make a right angle triangle. Um, for some of the smaller ones, definitely 3, 4 and 5, it's worth just learning that so you can try and recognise it if it comes up in an exam.